The filming of the following video was pre-Dorian. In it, you will see some of the beauty and history of Hopetown, Abaco, Bahamas. If you would like to help this beauty be restored, please consider helping with relief efforts in any capacity. To contribute to the fund we started to rebuild the Abacos by sponsoring Bahamians in their restoration efforts, use the link below. We have reached out to a leader as well to assist with relief efforts. Today we're checking out a new product. So the folks over at a leader group out in Kansas, no, Kentucky, KY, um, sent us these shoes and they asked if you know we would try them out and I said, well, you know, for boat folks, we don't really use a lot of shoes. And, oh, well, they're great on the boat. Well, there's no shoes on my sea deck here. But apparently, oh wow, check them out. Kind of like a mullet. Serious on the top and party in the back. <laughs> but anyway, so <clears throat> these shoes have uh, holes through the bottom of them. And they've got a mesh on the bottom that supposedly keeps the sand out. Um, but we'll see. They're very flexible, very lightweight. Uh, and they're not too bad looking, actually. I was not expecting... I guess it's just a simple tie and let's see if they fit. Oh, wow. Those are comfortable. Alright, well, we don't have the greatest of days. It's overcast and as you can see it's blowing like stink. However, it's not hot. And to hike to the top of the Hopetown Lighthouse, this is kind of the weather that you're looking for. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is The Space Between. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day, every, every single day. Everybody sour like a lemon tree. I'm just smiling down upon my enemies. Do the shit I love it on a daily. Say you hate your job, but you'll never. The British Imperial Lighthouse Service built this candy striped lighthouse to mark the Elbow Reef during the 1860s. Hopetownese at the time resented this and opposed the project, as they saw it as a threat to their wrecking trade. They went as, as far as to sink a barge being used to transport building materials. Despite their sabotage efforts, the lighthouse near Hopetown went into operation in 1863. The lighthouse stands at 89 feet with 101 steps and is one of only two remaining beacons saved from automation. Extraordinary efforts are undertaken by the locals to secure the parts for the kerosene burning apparatus of the light, most of which are no longer manufactured. An image of this lighthouse is featured on the Bahamian $10 bill. Wow. Oh, wow. Now you gotta go the, the innards of this lighthouse kind of resemble that of a clock. Well, that's because it is. It has a weight inside that shaft that runs the length of the lighthouse and the lighthouse keeper comes up, winds it up every two hours to keep the lighthouse spinning through the night. It's one of three lighthouses in the world that's still operated manually. Visitors are free to visit the lighthouse in Elbow Key and drink in an amazing panoramic view. Together with the village's neat rows of gingerbread cottages painted varying pastel shades, it gives this settlement plenty of charm. This passage courtesy of the Island of the Bahamas website. As we start the long trek down, the way we came up, obviously, we saw the sun peeking through a cloud, and so we decided there would be no better way to wrap this up than to head over to Hopetown and some of their beautiful pink beaches. Holly couldn't resist getting her feet wet, but that's normal at the beach. Now, if you've ever been to any Caribbean island, you know that that limestone there can get extremely sharp. And when you're wearing flip-flops, we'll still huh? avoid it because if you were to step on a corner like that and your foot slipped off the edge, that stuff shreds your feet. Mm -hmm. 
so we got these nifty shoes. Uh, a leader sent them over to us. Um, a leader uh, Adventure Sports. They've got a really neat website. These shoes are really kind of cool. We don't wear shoes a lot on the boat, um, but when we went into town or we knew we were going to have to climb up a rock or anything that you were probably going to lose a flip flop on, you know, we'd always grab our tennis shoes. Well, then you put your tennis shoes back in the you know uh, the shoe box outside, and it rains on them, and they get soaking wet. You don't have that problem with these. Um, we took them walking on the beach. I didn't have any issues with them. They, uh, the sand didn't come through. They are vented on the bottom, so when they get wet, it goes right out the bottom. Um, I really enjoyed them. You don't hardly know you even have them on. Yeah, they're very comfortable. You don't have to wear socks, obviously, with them, but I did take some waves over top of my feet, and it got sand inside them. Um, so I did end up having to slosh them out and get the sand out, but I mean it wasn't impossible and then you can still walk around in them and um, We yeah, yeah, we went all over Hopetown with them. We've uh, we've used them now for almost a month mm -hmm. and Hiked up 101 stairs on the uh, yeah. Hopetown lighthouse with them and uh, like I said, they're they're really comfortable and we give them two thumbs up Don't forget to check out their website in the link, link. below